Hey guys welcome back to my channel. For this full kit review for Jinzi, do note that this is an early kit and you may expect changes. She has the Spectro element and she uses the Broadblade type weapon. Here are her skill upgrade, Ascension and level cost. Starting with Jinshi's kit, her kit is very similar to both Spectro and Havoc MC just that she's able to do aerial combat like Ling Yang. Basic attack, performs up to 4 consecutive strikes, dealing Spectro DMG. Heavy attack, Performs a charged attack by consuming stamina, dealing spectro damage. Resonance skill. Dash forward and perform consecutive strikes that inflict spectro damage. Overflowing radiance. After Jinzi uses basic attack 4 or, while not in incarnation, intro skill longs halo. An alternative resonance skill overflowing radiance becomes available within 5 seconds. Resonance skill overflowing radiance inflicts spectro DMG and sends Jinzi into incarnation. Can be cast in mid-air. Resonance Liberation, unleash the power of a heart's wish. To deal Spectro DMG, can be cast in mid-air. For her inherent intro and outro skill, I'll just leave a picture below. Forte Circuit is her main DPS kit. While in Incarnation, all her basic, skill, heavy attack, dodge and dodge counter gets buffed and they can all be casted in mid-air which is similar to Ling Yang's kit. After stage 4 of her basic attack model, Incarnation gets terminated and Jin Shi gains Ordination Glow. Ordination Glow replaces her basic attack into an incarnation, heavy attack when airborne. Attacking the target in midair at the cost of stamina, dealing Spectro DMG. Resonance Skill is replaced with Resonance Skill Illuminous Epiphany. Send out Solar Flare that detonates a Stella Glamour that deals Spectro damage after a short delay. When Jinzi has Incandescence, consume up to 40 Incandescence. Each point of Incandescence grants an additional DMG multiplier percentage to the Star Glamour can be cast in mid-air. After casting Resonance Skill Illuminous Epiphany, Jinzi gains Unison. This can be triggered once in 25 seconds. Unison while Jinzi has Unison, switching to other characters will remove Jinzi's Unison to trigger Jinzi's outro skill and the incoming character's intro skill. Unison will be consumed in priority in place of Concerto Energy when Concerto Energy is full. Incandescence Jinzi can hold up to 40 Incandescence Ideographic period. When Jinzi is on the team, all nearby characters on the team gain eras in unity. When characters with eras in unity deal damage with an attribute, Jinzi gains 1 incandescence. Damage of the same attribute can provide up to 1 incandescence every 3 seconds. Resonance Chain. Sequence 1. When Jinzi casts Basic Attack, Incarnation, Basic Attack or Resonance Skill, Crescent Divinity, gain 1 stack of Herald of Revival, stacking up to 4 times and last for 6 seconds. When casting Resonance Skill, a Luminous Epiphany, Jinzi consumes all stacks of Herald of Revival. Each stack increases the DMG of Resonance Skill, a Luminous Epiphany, by 20%. Sequence 2. Inzi recovers 40 Incandescence while staying out of combat for more than 4 seconds. This effect can only be triggered 1 every 4 seconds. Sequence 3. Gain 12 Incandescence and a stack of Immortals Descendancy after casting Intro Skill Long's Halo. Every stack of Immortals Descendancy increases attack by 25%, for up to 2 stacks. Lasting for 20 seconds. Sequence 4. When casting Resonance Liberation Purge of Light, or Resonance Skill Illuminous Epiphany, all nearby characters in the team gain damage bonus for all attributes by 20% for 20 seconds. Sequence 5. The DMG multiplier of Resonance Liberation Purge of Evil is increased by 120%. Sequence 6. Damage Multiplier Percentage for Resonance Skill Illuminous Epiphany is increased by 45%. The Multiplier Increase brought by Incandescence is additionally increased by 71%. For her weapon, Ages of Harvest, gain a 12% additional damage bonus for all attributes. The Wielder is bestowed with Divine Blessings and gains 1 stack of Blessing of Ages for each basic attack strike. Up to 4 stacks, which are removed when the Wielder leaves the field or at 4 stacks of Blessing of Ages or more. The wielder consumes all stacks of Blessing of Ages when casting the next Resonance skill, increasing its damage by 48% for 2.5 seconds. This can be triggered once every 6 seconds. Overall, definitely a very good weapon for her. Let me know your thoughts for Jinshi if you're pulling for her. Thanks for watching till the end and that's it for this guide.